Hello soulmates, welcome to the Earnings Academy. My name is Justice. So in this video, I want to show us how to make a hand glove. First of all, you have to measure the length of the glove that you want. Should it be something close to the um, palm? Should it be something um, close to the elbow, to the shoulders, wherever you want it to be? You can see how I place the tape from the tip of your finger, the longest finger to wherever you want the hand glove to stop. Okay, in this case, we'll be using about 10 inches for the length of our glove. Now, we have to widen our hand like this, our fingers, we need to widen it like this and place on the pattern to cut the hand glove. You need to widen it so that you'll be able to add allowance or have ease when you sew the um, gloves together. Okay, so you can see how I want to widen my hand and then for the base of the um, glove, I'm going to measure um, that point in case I need to cross check to know if it will size my hand. So in this case, we're going to use a marker to trace out the fingers. You can see the way it's done. This is quite simple to be done, right? It's quite, quite simple. Just draw it like this. Make sure your hands, your fingers are wide open. Then draw it having allowance in between so that um, that can serve as sewing allowance because you will not have much room to add sewing allowance before sewing it or while transferring it to your fabric. So in this case, you need to make it easier for you to sew it. Now, towards the arm, you need to widen it so that when you sew it, it can at least pass your fingers, okay? You need to widen it, but in this case, it's not that possible because of the size of the paper I was using here. So, it affected the size of that um, arm area because the, the palm was not really able to enter it now in this case what fabric should be used to sew this you need a stretchy fabric but here i did not use a stretchy fabric because i do not have one so this is just an illustration use a stretchy fabric it will make it easier for you for your hands to pass in for it to expand now don't get it wrong some persons use ankara which is not stretchy so in that case you need to make it wide like i said before you need to widen it this is quite small you need to widen it so that when you finish you can wear it so i'm going to trace it out by cutting just the way it is right or cutting it just the way it is carefully so like i said before use stretchy fabrics you can use cotton you can use any kind of fabric it must not be stretchy fabric because i've seen a lot of persons use ankara and it fits them very well but you need to keep it very very wide for your palm to pass through the edge the arm area okay so gloves um, serve a very important purpose. It makes your outfit look um, royalty. It makes it look so beautiful. It makes you look like a queen. So while sewing the next um, dress that you want to make, you might need to consider adding a glove to it. And if possible, a hat. You just look, look like the queen of England, right? Okay, so I'm tracing out by cutting and after this we're going to be placing on our fabric on fold to cut on the fabric. Alright, so let's just cut it. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. 
you can see we are still growing do well to subscribe to the channel so now after cutting the next thing to do is to place on the fabric fold your fabric into two for because um for one hand you're going to be folding into two and for another hand you're going to be folding into two because you'll be joining it okay so fold your fabric into two like this place your pattern on it i think this was longer than um 10 yeah it's longer than 10 so it will be enough So like I said, don't make the mistake I made. The mistake was that you not widen the arm area. So you need to widen the arm area. If possible, use your palm to uh, see, uh, make it look like you're fitting, in, fitting it in so that it can pass through when you're done. But the fingers, finger areas are very okay. So we're going to be cutting i did not even add sewing allowance to that part so you're learning from my mistake add sewing allowance expand it make it look bigger so that your palm can pass through it okay so this is to the next thing to do is to take it to the sewing machine and sew them together so at the very edge, you don't have to sew using half inch allowance because you do not add half inch allowance. Just sew it very small, close to the edges, like this. You can see the way my hand is going. That is how you're going to sew it. So now after sewing, this is what we have. You need to notch the centers, notch the edges, so that once you turn it, it can relax properly you need to notch it very well but don't cut through your sewing your seam lines okay notching is very very important in whatever you sew especially when you have pointed areas you need to notch to make your seams very free to move Okay, so this, you can see the way it is. It will not be possible for this to pass through that, that just that particular area. So I should have added much allowance at that part. So we're going to turn it now. And that is how to make a hand glove, right? Whatever glove you want to make for house use for your clothes for beauty for whatever this is how to make a hand glove so just give it a try give it a try and see how it comes out beautiful so 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 if you've not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up share it thank you